Okay, so hey guys, and welcome back to another predictions video. In today's video, I'm going to be predicting the Roman Jr. versus Hardy fight. If you are new around here though and you haven't subscribed, please do so. Like the video if you do need like the video, and thanks for watching. Okay, so if you are new around here and you haven't seen how I normally do the YouTuber boxing prediction cards, I do them a bit differently to I do a normal boxing prediction card because I'll just go through the whole card and I'll say who I think is going to win each one. Obviously, not all of them. I know a lot of people not know a lot about them, so they might be a bit biased judgment, and I suppose that's what prediction is anyway. And it might be a bit misconstrued facts. Um, so don't judge me too much from this. Don't take it too seriously. It's just a prediction which I wanted to do because I thought it was an interesting card. Okay, so we're going to start off with Fangs versus Gore Jieg. Sorry if I pronounce any of these names wrong. By the way in which I think Fangs is going to win. I mean, she's been around the YouTube game for a long, long time, and, I mean, she's been calling out for a fight for a while now, and so I'm sure she's been having preparation to get into the fight, get used to fighting and stuff like that, and so I, I think she'll be able to win. I don't know how good of a fight it will, be, it will be, but I think she will win. Moving on to FaZe Temper versus Overflow. This is a fight which could be a bit of a sleeper fight. I mean, I don't know a lot about Overflow's boxing ability. I know he calls out a lot of people and he chats quite a lot of shit from what I've seen. Uh, but for his temper, of course, he's coming off that loss against Slim, but he's still a very good fighter and is a, looking to get his payback and to show that he is still up there with what some of the best in the YouTuber boxing scene. And so I think FaZe Temper will win. Moving on to Minicon versus Nick Joseph. Uh, Minicon fought in the UK versus USA card. I don't know anything about Nick Joseph. Uh, so I'm going to go with a Minicon win. I believe he won in that fight. I, I might be wrong, but I think he did. Um, moving on to Ice Poseidon versus Brandon Buckingham. I don't know anything about either of these really. I mean, I've heard of Ice Poseidon before, so I'm going to go with Ice Poseidon win. This is probably the least amount that I've ever known about a boxing fight. Um, but these are the YouTube predictions for you, man. You get used to it and you just kind of go along with it and see what happens. That's the whole fun of it, I suppose. Um, moving on to Josh Brukener versus Chase Damore. I've seen Chase Damore has been calling out a lot of people and I believe he's the one that's been calling out uh, been calling out JMX and so he's going to have to back what he's saying and I think he will and so I'm going to go with a Chase them all win. These American cards or this American card in particular I don't know loads of people from because I'm not very very clued up in the American side of like YouTube and TikTok and all of that um, but I mean I, I know a good amount of the people really. Uh, moving on to King Kenny versus DK Money King Kenny of course coming off the win against who was it against? against a phase uh, face sensei uh, and dk money i believe he's still i don't think he's fought since that ryan taylor i suppose win in a way a disqualification win um and so i suppose he's coming off a win king kenny most probably just wants an easier fight because he's had two very tough fights and he's not and he looks very very good in his fights but people have been questioning if he's actually won in either of them fights of course he's won one and lost one but it's because he's always taken these tough fights. He's not really been able to show how dominant he can be in a fight. And so I'm sure that's what he's going to be wanting to prove in this fight. And so I don't think he'll be underestimating DK Money. Well, hopefully he won't be underestimating him. Uh, but yeah, I think King Kenny will be able to get a win because he is technically probably one of the best YouTube boxers, gift technically gifted wise. Moving on to the main event now. Two fights on the main event. This update just happened yesterday. And so Dean the Great versus Walid Sharks is one of the main event fights. And so I think this is going to be a great fight. This is definitely fight of the night in my opinion. And I think Dean the Great will win because what he showed in his last fight was complete domination. His shot selection was very good. His speed was amazing. And so I think he's going to win this. And then, I mean, I'd love to see him face somebody like FaZe Jarvis or somebody like that. But he's got a lot of options then I suppose he's got a lot of options. There's not loads of, in that weight kind of division, but I, he'll show that he's definitely one of the best YouTube boxers if he wins convincingly against Wilded Sharks. And then moving on to the main other main event, and that is Raman Jr. versus Greg Hardy. Greg Hardy's just got the notice, I believe yesterday or the day before, that he's going to be fighting, and so short notice short notice fight for him but I'd like to hope he's been training in beforehand he is if I'm right in saying a former NFL fighter uh, 
NFL fighter, NFL and a former fighter, uh, MMA fighter. I don't know how high far in his career he got in MMA, but I know he's only 38, so he's younger than what um, oh, I've got, uh, Vitor Belfort was, who Rahman was going to fight. Uh, and Rahman, of course, hasn't fought in a while, and he's coming off that loss. And so I think it'll be close, but I still think Rahman's going to be able to win Rahman Jr., uh, or Rackman Jr., and uh, I think he'll kind of just stick around the YouTube game for a while because I think he knows that that's where the money is really in that kind of level of fighting. So, I mean, fair play to him. Uh, I mean, I would like to see him fight Vito World for at some, some point because that was a fight which I kind of was excited for, even though he is like an older ex USC fighter. But yeah, it was a fight which I was still excited for. Uh, so maybe that'll be next. But um, yeah, that is it for today's video. Hope you did enjoy a lot. If you didn't, you like, video, subscribe if you're new. And thanks for watching.